Right everyone, welcome back to a new video here today. This is going to be a quick one because we're quite busy just now. We're doing the, the new sheds at the moment. But uh, I thought I'd just come down and show you the, the new tractor. It's a uh, Massey Ferguson 5713S. Oh, don't know what I've done here. Um, you see on the side, Massey Ferguson 5713S. Dyna 4. It's uh, 130 horsepower. I'm not going to lie, a bit overkill for us, we didn't quite need this sort of spec, but uh, it's got a lot of comforts in it, I'll read out the specs in a minute. It's got a uh, fast uh, uncoupler for the loader, what else has it got, batteries under there, um, big big wide mirrors up there, you've got link arm controls on the back fenders up and down, and then the left side of the tractor's got a PTO on and off. Cat 3 linkage, big wide uh, heavy duty arms on it, as you can see, great big rams, I think it's rated to 5.2 tonne lift capacity on the back, it's got three um, double acting spools on it, it's got air brakes and uh, oil as well, uh, pick up hitch so it slides out, push out hitch, uh, trailer electrics, now this, this valve here on the top that uh, controls the push out hitch so you have that like that for push out hitch and it's taken one of the spools away and then you you tar turn that up or down is it i don't know but you put it one way and then you get your, th your other spool back so then you'd have three it's got the uh, swivel bit on the top link there got it's on 38 tires we're gonna have to change the dual wheels now but that's not the end of the world change them over to 38s at some point uh, what else has it got got plenty of work lights on the back fenders as well as on the top uh, it's got add blue unfortunately but there's nothing much you can do about that uh, two two beacons on the top shoots me down to the ground it's got an FL 3819 loader on it which has uh, got much better lift capacity and height than the old uh, Quickie Q38 that we got on the, on the case. Now this is the, this is the key sort of thing you've got to have to get under the bonnet. It goes into there like that, pull it towards you. Get there eventually. There you are, that's underneath the bonnet. You can unclip that like that, take it up, but uh, you've got good good access to the radiator and that, so it's all nice and tidy. I'd say the the best thing <laughs> the best thing about this compared to the case is the sump plug, uh, which sounds a bit daft, but the sump plug under there, um, right there, you can see it's two two nuts. It's not a uh, it's two bolts instead of these stupid little hex things the case has. Well, right, you got your filters down there and all, um, which, is, which is quite handy. So you jump up into the cab here. You've obviously got your forward, reverse, neutral, uh, up and down gears like that as well. You've got your indicators. Let's put the ignition on. Got your key goes in the side there. Yeah, so you got your indicators there, left, right, got your flasher, your windscreen wipers, your windscreen wash, push that down, you got your horn as well. Um, what else we got in here? We've got the joystick, up and down gears, and then there's a wee trigger on the back there. Push in, hit forward, and push in, hit back. Then you got your H3, H4, these are two programmable buttons. Uh, you can either have four wheel drive, diff lock or um, engine rev thing on these buttons. So, But just now we've got the four wheel drive on H4 and the, just the standard third service on the H3. For the loader, uh, we got your standard T lever down here, forward and backwards, and then the button on the side got the range. You got your hand throttle there. Got your three spool valves, all double acting. Uh, these two bottom ones are the only ones that float. This one doesn't have any float. Um, and then that one there will stay in gear. 
that that one won't stay in gear and that one won't stay in gear but you've got these little locking things like that uh, that'll hold it which is all right uh, you've got your linkage up and down like that you've got your thumb wheel there um pto i think that's for when you get out the tractor you hit it and unless pto will keep running uh down here you've got four-wheel drive diff lock i think that's auto four-wheel drive and auto diff lock you've got your lights side lights and then main lights obviously um you got your hazard lights up here see down on the dashboard there uh you got your plowing settings up here you got your uh, 540, 540 eco, 1000, 1000 eco, this one doesn't actually have a 1000 eco on it. Then you've got your lights up here, that's your beacons and all your different lights and that stuff. Up there, what else we got? you got your like mini fridge sort of heater sort of thing there. You've got your aircon up here, you've got your radio up here and uh, plenty of vents around you. Uh, underneath of here you've got fuses like that and then you've got a nice diagram of them all on there which is handy uh, what else we got down here we've got the handbrake it's a uh, it's a grammar seat which is quite a high quality one you've got your um, swivel chair on it so you can swivel back and forth which is quite handy uh, you've obviously got up inflation and then deflation back and forth and then you've got uh, the seat moves back and forth as well with the bumps and stuff and then you've got a nice big cup holders two cup holders there and then big storage cuddy underneath of there as well you've got your rear windscreen wiper and then hold it down for a rear windscreen wash um, you've got your skylight there that opens up fully as well you just do that and that up up and then back and that slides right the way that slides right the way back as well you've got an interior mirror inside and uh, that's pretty much it to be honest with you you've got a nice big passenger seat there as well handbrake um, that's your computer settings down there so turn it on, fill the clutch, turn the key. Like so, so for just now we're in park. So take your foot, take your handbrake off. Forwards. Just like that, and then backwards again. Or you can put that in neutral like that. Hit the back button, then forwards. Why is this not doing it? That's right, after you put your foot in the clutch to start with. So that's forwards like that. Trigger, back button. Simple as. Trigger, forwards. So that's a quite neat feature. I'll get, probably use that when you're lo loading muck or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll read out the specification of this tractor for you just now. In case anyone is interested. Right, this tractor is uh, Massey Ferguson 5713S, 130 horsepower, four wheel drive, essential specification. Comes with 16 front time, 16 rear di uh, forward rear Dynafor, 40 km per hour transmission. Comes with power shuttle, 100 litre per minute hydraulic flow, three spool valves, uh, electronic linkage control, um, 540, 540, 1000 RPM. Inside selectable PTO, pneumatic and hydraulic trailer brakes, auto hitch, cathode linkage, comes with external position control, 440-65R28 um, welded front and 540-65R38 welded rear trailer board tyre and wheel size, wide pivoting front fenders, 2.28 metre rear fenders and extensions, air conditioning, visual roof, air suspension, seat passenger seat, Rear wash wiper, radio, large telescopic side mirrors, additional work lights on handrails, roof mounted beacon and cab suspension fitted Massey Ferguson FL3819 parallel linkage loader, performance specification comes with third service, soft drive, hydro quick multi, multi coupler and Euro 8 carriage headstock, uh, blah 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 blah. So yeah that's it. Um, I'm quite busy just now so I don't have time to, to do a full on video with this. So I'm going to head back up, got the digger up there, uh, working on the workshop foundations just now, 
and we're working on the new hay shed over there. Uh, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Quick video today. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.